Your feet are weird looking, dude. I got ugly feet. Yeah. They look like hobbit feet. I got tiny feet, too. It sucks. <laughs> you got like little girl hobbit feet. It <laughs> sucks. I don't like it. Shut up. Hey guys, welcome back to Me Watch Movie. I'm Mike. I'm Jay. Halloween kills news. Let's slice a jack lantern together and get fucking pumped. <laughs> I want to do it with you. <laughs> I want this pumpkin sucking dick by noon. I want the pumpkin juice. <laughs> They'll take your seeds. Oh your pumpkin -y seed. Can I get a pumpkin latte? I want it. Shit. There, okay, tons of tiny little news. T tiny little, just a bit bare. Little bite size. A bit bare. Little, it's different. Yellow. That's not for you, Stephen. That's for us. Okay, so first off, Halloween Kills is going to be on the cover of Fangoria. Oh! I saw this happen. It looks so good. Hey, that's like being on the cover of uh, Sports Illustrated in the horror world. Yeah, you don't even have to show your butt cheeks. And Michael looks good. That's, that's, dude. Well, first off, you see the nub. Like, the nub is four. Front, it's four skin. No, it's, I mean, what I mean to say is it's four front and center. What's he holding in his in his hand? Oh, it does, does it not look like he's holding like a Buffalo Wild Wings cup? He's yeah. like, I need a refill on my tall boy. You can't hold much with three fingers. Yeah, but he's like, I need a, I'm empty on my tall boy. <laughs> Dude, look, his energy in this shot right here, he looks exactly, and I put this out on Twitter, he looks exactly like someone looks when your girl cheated on you and you, you walk past her to beat up the guy she cheated with and then you look at her. It also kind of looks like a, a high school yearbook photo when you weren't expecting it and you were just walking to the next class and somebody like <laughs> took it, you're like, what are you doing? You did this. God, I'm failing geography and you take a picture <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure when that's going to be out, how much it could cost, or how you can get it, but I'm sure you can find out. But it does look dope. It's cool. dope. It's nice to see Halloween on the cover of Fangoria, and it makes makes me feel good in my pantaloons. You guys got to pick up the issue of Fangoria if you really are a Halloween fan. I want to. Mm -hmm. Send us one. God. Give me a subscription. Fuck. Also, mm -hmm. the Halloween Kills novelization has a release date and a picture of the cover. Books! Ew! What? <laughs> yeah! Fuck yeah, novelizations! <laughs> Let's novelize the fuck out of it! <laughs> it's not a surprise, it's just the poster that you saw, but it still looks dope yeah. with that big ass mask. By Tim Wagoner, the official movie novelization, Halloween Kills, it's gonna be out October 16th. Tim Wagner should have put right at the bottom, he said Halloween Kills, when you don't take out the pizza, uh, the the pizza rolls on time in the oven. <laughs> when you put it, when you come home Aren't drunk at two a.m., put a pizza in and then pass out. This is what your pizza yeah. will look like when you wake up in the morning. It's like I fell asleep on the grill. What do you want? <laughs> you know, it's an awesome cover, but it's nothing crazy. I mean, it's not like my. It's you know what would be shock if you really want to shock people and, and break a news story. Instead of showing the same poster picture, what they should have done is just had Michael's crispy butt cheeks on the cover. I'm like <laughs> one half of his ass is fucking sauce. What if they had like Michael doing this and then it was like ba 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 ba. It's like it's a hologram. It's, a, it's like one of those. It's like one of those cards you get for your birthday, but it has music to yeah. it. And it's a hologram of him the, doing the, this. And the quitsy ocha. The quitsy ocha. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we, uh, you know, um, hopefully we get a chance to talk with this dude uh, at some point later on. We believe we're going to have Tim on the show. Yeah, it's going to be cool times, and we're going to act like we know him. We're going to call him, hey, Tim, hey, Timothy, Tim, what's going on here? But no, it really will be cool because he's going to expand the backstories of a lot of the characters in the film, and you're going to find out more of their motivations. Mm -hmm. The cool thing about these novelizations is, I know you got to read, God, Don Phonics, but the cool thing about it is you get to know their inner thoughts, which is always cool. You can't show that on screen, yeah. so it is a really neat thing. Definitely pick it up, okay? I picked up episode one. The Phantom Menace when Star Wars was coming out, and I read it, I loved it, and I fucking hated that first movie. Jar Jar Binks. I remember what it's like to be a virgin. Yeah, I do. So that's coming out. It's going to come out October 16th on book stands. You can get it at Barnes & Noble. That's where I got the last one, at least, mm -hmm. and get a whole bunch of those. And maybe we'll figure out something we did with the last guy where maybe we can get him to sign mm -hmm. some copies and we can send them out. Make to sure that you get on that Barnes & Noble thing because that motherfucker's like a T-Rex. It's dying out. Actually, they're, so, they're, they're holding strong. I like to go inside of Barnes & Noble. And take a dump. Take a crap because bookstores make me poop. That's the whole story. But I just like to go in there and walk around. I'm not going to buy nothing. It's, so it's weird, all too expensive, but, it, it, but it, you but feel it, fancy being in there. Is it not weird that Barnes & Nobles is still surviving? That's like yeah. saying, hey, guess what's still around? Captain D's. What? Fuck, <laughs> it really is. Yeah, I can't, I, 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 who the fuck eats at Captain D's? I don't know. Like, who the fuck goes in there and eats at Captain D's? Who? Interestingly enough, do you know that, that is, the first Captain D's was in Kentucky? That's not surprising. Yeah, it's like that wasn't even fucking shrimp. That was goddamn dirty tobacco. Of course, of course, of course, it started in a landlocked state where there's no seafood he's like, anywhere. Near I, you know what? I always wanted to be. I wanted to be a pirate. <laughs> Captain <Arr. Ace>. Woo! <laughs> Another thing that's coming out is this back, back, back. Behind the scenes. Back to life. Back, back to Mike and Miles. Uh, there's this behind the scenes photo 
that was shared of Michael behind the scenes of the set, fresh off of a kill. It looks like he's showing his dick. <laughs> he does. He's he like, was like, hey, I got a boner. <laughs> I have a boner. He really does. He's doing this. Look upon your work. I love, he looks cool as hell, but I mean, guys, do not tell me that his midsection is not thrusting out to show him. Like, it looks like Will Ferrell, like, don't act like you're not impressed. <laughs> it looks like a big old boner. He does. But he looks cool as fuck, though. Yeah, he's, he's, he's spread open, open wide. He's like, look what I just did. I, look yeah. what that did, Mom. I can't wait for the uh, the woke look, culture. Boy. Stop Michael splaining. Stop Michael splaining with your spread legs. <laughs> Stop Michael splaining to me how to kill people. Hi, I'm Michael Myers, and this is Jackass. Yeah, dude, that looks cool as fuck, though. Yeah, he does look good. badass. He's, he really is. He also, he, I'm fucking here to party, guys. I'm here to fucking party. It also looks like your dad when he's been trying to nap, but you won't shut the fuck up because you're playing Goldeneye too loud, <laughs> and he gets up and he's standing in your doorway. What? <laughs> he's like, you know, what did I, I have to get up? I warned you. You know, I have work, son. Oh, he also kind of looks like you when your dog walks in, right when you notice that he's shit in the floor, and you're just standing over the shit going. What'd you do? Yeah, I, my dad. Uh, my Bad da boy. My dad used to bang on the on the wall to kill, tell us to shut the fuck up. And oh, if and if we didn't shut the fuck up because we were playing our video games, he would stand in the doorway just like Michael Myers, be like, "Nah, I told you." <laughs> I'll never forget. Some of the best times of our lives, dude. Hang out in your room. We'd be dying laughing, and all of a sudden you're bang bang. Your boy, shut the fuck up. Yeah, dude. dude big yeah, Big Dad looked like Paul Bear <laughs> and Undertaker at once when he was pissed. <laughs> That's exactly what it looks like, dude. Uh, also, the news came out that Venom Two is going to be taking his big slobbery fucking tongue mm. and moving right in on Halloween Kills date. Those goddamn symbiotes take over everything. <laughs> that is a red one. It is a little scary because I think what the article did point out was the fact that is this may start a domino effect of delays for a lot of other films. Uh, you know, this is delayed by three weeks. It's going to open up October 15th alongside of Halloween. Hopefully, first off, James Bond can, you, you, first off, he's going to lose his 007 if he gets delayed one more time. He's going to be 006. <laughs> so you cannot delay James Bond again, okay? This mother, by the way, James Bond, the new James Bond movie, has to make $900 million to break, to fucking make a profit. Yeah. It's too late for you to delay it. Uh, so it's kind of scary, but at the same time, I will not be seeing Venom 2 <laughs> when it opens, obviously, uh, for, you know, Halloween, but... But yeah, I, dude, that that release date, it's also the last duel by Ridley Scott's coming out, which yeah. looks bomb ass as fuck. Uh, but that release date with Venom on it now, like October, the whole release date section of October, it's it, it looks it's it's like a single girl in the middle of a Hooters. Like everybody's just crowding yeah. in on fucking mm -hmm. October, trying to get their little piece of it, because uh, it's the only chance you really have at taking anything home tonight, because the Hooters waitress isn't going to go home with you. No. You know that. Uh, that's what's going on with it. But and and, and here's what people's concern. Oh, oh my God, is Halloween Kills going to move off the slate? now no. and the answer to that's got to be no because David Gordon Green himself came out and said this movie is coming out in October and Halloween out of all those movies Venom and all of them it's the one movie that cannot move any further because Halloween's got to come out by at least October if it comes out in November it's going to feel like a dud it's not going to yeah. feel the same if it comes out in December even worse they're not going to push it out a whole year so Halloween Kills is definitely going to come out the only thing I was thinking is maybe move it forward now move it to uh, September 24th because there's not a lot going on that date but right after that this Fangoria cover we just talked about came out and and this is the day after Venom announced they're they're just moving in on Michael's territory which you don't fucking do it yeah hey don't do it don't do don't it. do it he came out the day after that and they put out this Fangoria cover and he's like see Halloween kills on his Instagram he was like see Halloween kills October 15th in theaters well he also said that, that was him doubling the fuck down yeah. like a KFC fucking sandwich with with instead of buns meat fried I know the double down give you a heart attack really and get you satisfied just like Rosie O'Donnell but the thing is uh, yeah it, it's not gonna be delayed any further I mean nope. he actually came out uh, what was it last year or something and said no matter what hell or high water it's gonna come out October 15th that's the day even if it's fucking streaming it doesn't matter. It's going to come out. So I'm, it's it's a little concerning uh, and disconcerting at the same time because the delay is already happening with Venom, and that's a tent pole movie. It's a huge movie, uh, and a lot of people were expecting it to, to stay on time. They had to delay it, and you know because of rumors of <coughs> fucking shit vote blow bit, but. Uh, really ramping up. Hopefully it won't Fuck. cause any more delays. Shit. But at the same Cut. time, listen, October is turning out to be the month of July. Shut the fuck up! The, July is coming out to be, uh, it's becoming the month of July. Like, it's, it, like, there's a lot of good movies that are coming out in October now. So I'm kind of, I'm kind of psyched about that because it's like, usually you gotta go into a hot, theater, sweaty, your butt cheeks are sticking to the seats, swamp ass everywhere, it smells like your mom's socks, and you gotta watch these giant, 
summer releases. But if they all start coming out in October in the falls, that's where I think they should start focusing all their efforts on. Start releasing them in the fall. Well, yeah, I mean, apart from that, though, like, the only problem is, is, like, is Halloween Kills going to do well financially? Yeah, um, against Venom, yeah, it's going to Halloween good. Ends is going to shoot. They're going to do the movie. It's going to happen no matter what. And by the way, that's another piece of news that's come out. James and Courtney officially announced they are starting on Halloween Ends January the 10th. So it's not like if... It's if about fucking time! It's, it's, <laughs> not like, it's not like if Halloween Kills does uh, poorly, you're not going to get a Halloween Ends, but it still hurts horror and it hurts Michael and it hurts the Halloween franchise as a whole if the movie doesn't do well you want it to do well as a Halloween fan and Venom moving in really there's no doubt it's like when Kanye decided he was going to run for president. Mm. There's going to be some fucking votes that get pulled from that. And, and let's be honest, Venom has a way better chance than Kanye did of doing damage. So, like, th I don't that know. sucks I mean, that Venom, they did that. But Technically speaking, Venom got a terrible critical score. I mean, it was actually hated by the majority of people. I liked Venom. I thought Venom was good. Venom 2, it. Venom 2, Let There Be Carnage. I mean, Carnage itself is a badass character. Who and do you think wins, though? Michael Myers kills this dude. Like, I mean, I don't think. I mean, yes, of course, it's going to hurt it a little bit. But I think overall, Michael Myers and Halloween during October is the juggernaut. They got it, and they're the juggernaut, bitch. I mean, that it's not. This is not the Venom fight. Venom is like you bit off more than you could chew, Tom Hardy. But at the same time, it's not his fault. I don't think it's going to hurt them financially at all. I think I think Halloween's still going to be a. It's going to be the number one at the box office. It's not going to matter. I mean, look, even if it was goddamn Rain Man 2, Dustin Hoffman, I don't know why that motherfucker's back, but if it was, it still wouldn't make a dent in, in Halloween. It's a Halloween movie that's coming out in the month of October. It's Michael Myers. It's one of the most anticipated flicks, period, of this year. So, yeah, I don't, I, I really don't. Venom 2, and I'm, honestly, I think I would have, I would have slated Venom uh, for an October release anyway. Because it seems like right. a horror movie anyway. It's just on that exact date, you're going to have a lot of these, the, they have a lot of the same audience. Yeah, they do. You know what I mean? But I don't, Especially I, since it's a darker superhero film, you have a lot of the same audience, so they're hurting each other by But doing. you're not going to have one guy that goes to the movie theater and be like, so honey, I'm thinking about going to see Venom. Um, uh, you want to go see that William Shatner face, man? But I'm not going to go watch that because that's too terrifying. But you also have a huge crowd of people that they're going to see whatever superhero movie's out. Yes, but those, are, but those are called virgins. It's, and <laughs> it's going <laughs> to... No, I'm kidding. I'm a virgin too, in that regard. <laughs> but I'm not. But I mean, I am. It's going to be close. I think. What do you guys think? Comment down below. Who do you think wins, Venom or Halloween? But I also think, I think that a lot of Venom that might not be done moving. I think that a lot of people that choose Venom 2 over Halloween Kills will find themselves not only enjoying a pretty cool superhero flick, but also remaining single. Because <laughs> those girls are going to go to a horror movie in October that they want to watch and get with that one dude named Randy. Two guys with big tongues. What do you want? What do you want? You're fighting against... Fate. That's not for me. If you had a vagina, <laughs> you just said girls. Yeah, but they don't want to see that. That's too gross. Do, 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 do. Girls. First off, those those songs are too long. If they lick them in the vagina, it would be touching their tonsils. Ow. Yeah, that's too long. Sounds painful. It's barbed. Uh, but yeah, so what do you guys think? Who's going to win that one? I think Venom moves. I think Venom's going to move again. What the fucking December? What a holiday spirit! I don't know. I think they're going to move again, <laughs> but I do think that no matter what happens, Halloween's going to release in October. Yeah, it will. And if theaters are shut down, Halloween's going to fucking Netflix, sure. buddy, or or Hulu or some shit. It's going fucking somewhere. Prime no doubt Hulu, about it. Yeah. No fucking doubt about it. Bing, bing, do. Boom. Um, there was something else that happened. Oh yeah, check these out. John Carpenter just released today. You can now pre-order. Uh, the, the Halloween Kills soundtrack on multiple different sexual looking fucking vinyls. Mm, I already good. ordered the white and black one. I already yeah, there was, there was too many. I mean, I was like, God, it was like looking at the number one alternative cover, covers for comic books. I was like, I don't know which one. Which <laughs> one's going to be the better one? I hate when they do that, but it's cool though. And if you're low on fundage, you can order a cassette tape. It's only $8 plus shipping for the cassette tape. I kind of mm. wanted the cassette tape too because it's dope as fuck looking. But yeah, uh, these look badass. Check them out. They also released a song called Unki was it Unkill Unkill Unkillable. Unkillable. John Carpenter released a song on Spotify. That's you my ex-wife it slutness. <laughs> it's, 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 it, that's true. That is, a it fact. is true. That She's an unkillable beach, uh, bitch from which there is no escape. But we should make a music video about it. <laughs> unkillable. <laughs> it's dope as fuck. It's a good track. It's a John Carpenter track. It's John Carpenter. I think mean, you know exactly what to expect, but it is fucking sick. I felt like it was in, like a lot of John Carpenter vibe was in it, but I felt like it was a lot more Cody Carpenter and uh, the other guy that worked on the well, tracks. It got wild in the middle yeah, of it. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's it's the standardness and it's, all of a sudden you're like, oh shit, this shit's gonna have nuts in it. Oh, It got a little wacky in the it. middle and I like it. I'm here for it, Steven. I think the whole movie's gonna be that. Halloween is the entry, entry point 2018. Halloween kills. We're gonna get fucking crazy with the potatoes. Yep. And that's this song says that. I think the movie's gonna be that. I think it's gonna be fucking awesome. Can't wait. Um, can't wait. Can't wait not to buy those albums because I don't have a record player, you son of a bitch. <laughs> I don't either, but I like to collect them. Maybe I'll them. just get a CD. I like the whole <laughs> hey, 
Okay, I'm sorry. I'm at the record store. Can I just get a fucking CD? <laughs> like, they have CDs. You can buy CDs. Yeah, oh, it's like, oh, no, no, I'm sorry. You're going to have to get that on Spotify. I was like, well, Spotify my ass. I don't have that. Final is just, it, for me, it's just a piece of artwork. I know, but do not get like fucking, uh, get that, can touch don't it. get like uh, Nicolas Cage in The Rock. Look, these sound better. <laughs> <laughs> the Beatles. I can smell it. It is cool. I mean, just as a collector, yeah. it's cool to have. Yeah. yeah, and then if there's a zombie apocalypse, you can throw it at zombies, like in uh, Shaun of the Dead. Mm -hmm. You know what pisses me off about the end of that, that movie? What? Is that when they're deciding what records to throw at the zombie, he picks up the Batman soundtrack, and he's like, oh yeah, you can throw that. Yeah. I'm like, what are you fucking talking that, about? That, that's, a, that's a second. That's, that's a second. Black and white, red and green, the funkiest thing you ever seen. Halloween Kills update. That's all the news that we have so far. We should far. have just been quiet. Just turn the camera on. <laughs> <laughs> that, I believe that's all of it. There's a bunch of little tiny news coming out about it. But we're excited in the cross regions. Can't wait to fucking watch James Good Courtney slap James Good Courtney. Mm -hmm. James Gord Courtney. Hey, by the way, James Jude, if you're out there listening to this, hey, you want to come on the show? Because we've offered you a bunch of goddamn sure. times. I know you're busy at the Waffle House and not nothing. You're eating your foods and getting your nutrition. But uh, the invitation's always open. Fuck. You scared, boy? Uh, we got uh, Sir Chris. Christopher Nelson's on here a couple times. Uh, you know he's been on here. He's a nice guy. Oh, we, we nice with him. House. Shit, man. Come on, James Jude. Let's have a fucking biscuit. You don't want us to bring on Tyler Maine first. Hey, let's have a fucking biscuit together and talk about Halloween, James. Well, Why are you running? You put honey on your biscuits? Hell no. Hell no. <laughs> I put ketchup on it. <laughs> <laughs> we love your fucking faces, guys. Click that subscribe button and mind the fucking bell underneath. You gotta cup it. You're getting really good at that. I know. I, I, Your time at the I YMCA is definitely paying off. Oh, fuck. What is that on my face? <laughs> <laughs> I saw it. That was better. That was a little bit better than I thought. Was. You're not like talking shitholes. Hey, guys. This is Mark Wahlberg, and I just wanted to take a second to talk to you about We Watched a Movie. They got a really good Patreon going on over there. They'll do videos for you based on any of their characters. They'll do commentaries for you. They'll do movie reviews for you. They got behind the scenes videos. You got 20% off of all their merch. They'll even make you your own video store card like Blockbuster back in the day. They got commentaries just sitting there waiting to be fucked by your movie ears. I'll put the link below. We gotta outrun the wind. I had a sister named Judith. She had sex with this kid It all ended awkwardly quick You know, I stabbed her in the tits